Lindsay, and it's Wednesday, so you know what that means. It's time for your What's Up Wednesday tech tip. So for today's tech tip, it's all about the classroom tools on your new line panel. So if you have a new line panel and you have not found these yet, get ready. Okay, so to get to your classroom tools, you can either from your little floating menu over here, click the, the grid icon to get to your apps, or on your home screen, click the apps button to get there. And then from this window, if you scroll, you are looking for the new line classroom tools, which it's a little yellowish box with the pencil and the ruler. I'm gonna click it and it's gonna open in my top left corner. Not a big deal. I can just click on it and drag it to move it where I want it, which is awesome. Here's another thing that I like. You can also hit the little diagonal arrows in the bottom um, right corner next to the door. That will minimize this so it hangs out on your screen so you always have them ready to go and then you can just hit that to open it when you need it. So cute, very cool. Let's look at the tools that are here. Instructions are just a way for you to kind of quickly pick and choose what kind of things your students are going to be doing right now, whether it's ask a neighbor, whether they're working together, any questions, or if I just need silence, I can click that. That's going to hang out up here so my students have that visual to see what's going on in the classroom. When you're done, you can either hit the little arrow to go back and choose the next topic or next instruction set, or hit the X to close it. Traffic light gives you a little traffic light now. It does not um, work for sound. It doesn't pick up the sound on the classroom. But what you can do, what I used to do, is use it for devices. And so if mine was on red, that meant no devices out, everything's closed, eyes on me. If it was on yellow, and you can see I'm just tapping. If it's on yellow, then that means your devices can be out, but I need your eyes on me. And then green means everybody's working on their devices. So super cool, super easy. I'm sure you can come up with a ton of uses for that. What I do like though is if I hit the little menu icon in the top left, a little um, stack hamburger, I can pick more than one thing at a time. So if I want my traffic light and I want instructions, then I can hit that and say, okay, you're gonna be working by yourself on your device and I want silence. So you can have multiple tools open at the same time. And then when you're done, you just click the X for each one to close it, okay? The dice gives you dice. And if you hit the plus sign, you can add more than one. And when you hit roll, it rolls the dice for you. Okay, QR code, you can enter the text and it gives you a QR code for them to scan. The timer, we know what the timer does. You can set your timer for your minutes, your seconds, your hour. And then once you have it set, you do the play button and it does the timer and then it will do the sound. I just don't have the sound on right now. Okay, stopwatch, same thing, it is a stopwatch. So when you're, like, let's say I use this as kind of an incentive to say, okay, let's see if we can put away our math stuff and take out our science stuff in 15 seconds. And I say, ready, go. And I hit my little stopwatch and then the students are transitioning, probably gonna get a little bit loud, but it adds a little competition to it. And then when they're done, you can stop it and say, yay, we did it in seven seconds. Let's beat that next time or whatever. So that's your stopwatch. You have a calendar that's built in. I like this one. The zoom in option, what it lets you do is it actually gives you this little menu here and you can zoom in to whatever it is you have displayed up here, which is super helpful, or you can zoom out or you can just go back full screen. So that is the zoom option that's kind of built in. Love that one, but I love this one even more. You have your spotlight. So when you turn on the spotlight, notice what happens. I get my circle in the middle, but I've got this toolbar down here on the bottom and notice I hit my slider. So you can choose how transparent you want the darkened part to be so that I can move this around and say, I really want you to focus on the apps here or the apps over here. And if I hit the little arrow here, I can resize and really make them zoom in and focus on what I want them to focus on, which is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna hit the little exit, the little door to get back to my tools. This one is fun just to kind of have build up some um, excitement about whatever you're going to display. So you turn on your curtain and it does the curtain and you say, okay, what do you think we're going to talk about today? Um, it has something to do with, um, I don't, I can't even think of anything right now, but you build up that excitement. And then when you're ready, you do the big reveal by hitting the arrow and it opens the curtain to your content. So fun. Okay. You have a clock, which is here. And then you also have a little spinner. And so 
You can spin, do what you need to do. You could add more things if you want to. Super duper easy to use, love this. And what I really like is, not only can you have multiple tools showing at one time, not only can you minimize this to hang out, but if I'm gonna use this all the time, I'm gonna go ahead and exit to close it. So I'm clicking on the little um door. I'm gonna say exit. So this is a tool that I'm gonna have out all the time. And maybe I don't wanna have to go to my apps and then dig through to find it. On your new line, the Q series panel, you have the option to customize your home screen. So do you see this little add button right here? You can click that and it's going to give me some options here. And I know that this is an app. So I'm going to click on apps and then I'm going to look and find classroom tools. And when I click on that and close this, now my classroom tools is a button here that I have open and I can access it anytime I need without a bunch of clicks. It's just a one stop click. There's my stuff. So that is the classroom tools on your new line panel. If you've ever used classroomscreen.com, it's very similar, lots of cool things in there. So take some time and play and see what things you might use in your classroom. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this helps. Have a great day.